as you probably maybe saw from one of my earlier videos, one of the first things I did to this car when I uh, changed the, uh, the the coolant out, flushed the coolant out, I put a 160 degree thermostat in the car because it was supposed to make the car run cooler. However, from test drives and after putting a manual fan switch in the car, uh, I kind of figured that that's not really the case. 180 degree thermostat will work just fine. It does work just fine. It's just the way they designed the car to run hot to pass emissions. You know, it runs in, you know, the, the car heats up to 228, 230 before the fans come on, low speed. Uh, you know, it's just the, there's really a low pressure area in front of this car, or underneath where the radiator is. It just doesn't get that, that good of airflow. I uh, can watch the temperatures drop or rise depending on whether I'm behind another car or driving next to a concrete retaining wall. It's just the, the it needs really good, clean, undisturbed air in front of the car to cool down properly. Even with the manual fan switch, I can drive the car down the road, you know, 65, 70, turn on the fans and watch the temperature drop even more. So this tells me that a lot of people say, well, you can't, you know, make sure the fans are turned off while you're driving down the road because the fans will restrict air going through the radiator. Well, that's not, that's not exactly true, at least from what I've found out. So uh, this spring, hopefully I will, what I want to do is get a dual core all aluminum radiator to put that in there to keep it running cooler and possibly get rid of this manual fan switch and probably just put a secondary uh, fan switch in the side of the block and get rid of the, uh, get rid of the manual switch and I'm not really going to worry about programming it. I don't want to mess with it. Don't want to, you know, take a chance on jacking anything up. So, you know, one of the other things that I've been reading is the new C7s have the louvers in the hood. Uh, that really helps pull air out of the engine compartment to keep things cool. However, I don't really know how that would look on a C4, even if I had the the money to spend uh, customizing and have a lot of the custom fiberglass work done in the hood. It may look stupid after I'm done. So it's just because maybe you know, no one's done it. If, if uh, someone out there has seen it done, let me know. But uh, just to, uh, just to, uh, Just to let everybody know what my findings were, that you know the 160 degree thermostat really just well, isn't worth the trouble. So um, there you go.